Hey there folks and welcome back for another video. I'm Chris from iLather.com and today we're going to do a head shave with the S. A cart. This was sent to me by the inspector David Fernicola. This is the Gillette Guard, I believe. Single edge and we'll see how that does today. And some viewers recommended Cremo, so we will try it again. I'm sort of trying anything. Carts, Cremo, I'm new to shaving the dome. We're just going to try things and see how it goes. Let me wet the dome and we'll come right back and get into it. Stay tuned. Alright, so here we go with our Cremo and we will use it kind of like the head slick and see how it goes. Um, a lot of people recommend it highly for this sort of application, head shaving, so we will see how it does and hopefully it does well, but you never know. It does feel slick on the head, I'll tell you that. It's a thin coat, it, it comes, uh, it looks a little more thin as in terms of coat than the uh, the uh, head slick, but it feels feels slick. You can barely see it, so we'll see how that goes. And again, first time using the Gillette Guard, which is indeed a cart, but that feels nice. Feels nice indeed. And we'll be able to compare it to the head blade in terms of its effectiveness. Um, the Cremo is slick, even though you can barely see it, it's there and it's doing what it's supposed to do. I think I'm just going to go ahead and sort of get the back of my head here. Feels pretty good. This does pivot a little, by the way. And I do have to be careful because I'm not accustomed with uh, shaving with this guy, but we'll see how it does. And it Seems to be working pretty well, as long as I don't let the Cremo dry out on me. Should be in pretty good shape. Let's see how that does. Feels pretty good. Let's get this area right here. Hairs tend to hang out there and sometimes it's tough to get them. Doesn't feel bad at all. Feels pretty... Uh, Use the term safe, but it just feels comfortable, non-threatening, I would say. Um, not bad. And we'll get the other side. And by the way, I have gotten some comments on these videos where people are like, you know, please grow your hair back. I'm not doing it. And I'll tell you why. And what you don't see on the camera is uh, the back of my head, where there's a pretty significant bald spot and that bald spot was expanding and also the hair here was expanding backward and those two were about to meet and I'm sorry or actually I'm not sorry I'm not sorry um, I'm not going to allow those two points to converge where I have a big bald spot in the middle of my hair and, and bushy hair on the sides like I'm a clown um, and I could be a clown anyway don't get me wrong but um, I'm not going in that direction and I understand it some people think it looks goofy that is okay but fortunately you don't have to go around with the shave dome so you don't have to worry about it and uh, I like the way it feels and I'm just getting over with what was coming anyway I've seen the folks in my family what genetics are in store for me so um, look, believe me, it had to be done. So I just got in front of it. That was all. All right, let's uh, let's apply a little moisture to the head, and we'll come back for pass two. One thing I'll say about the Cremo is you can't see it nearly as much on your head, but it leaves a sort of a thin sheen of uh, slickness, and seems to work pretty good. And this. Uh, Gillette Guard is working pretty good too. It's a single blade, so it's closer <laughs> to traditional shaving, although it is a cart still. It seems to be doing a, a pretty good job. One thing again, folks, be careful around your ears, not to nick your ears. You can do it easily without um, um, really noticing. Um, you can just I, I nicked it the other day with a slant, pretty good, one of my ears, so 
be careful. Anyway, back on the bald subject. Um, I'm not particularly vain. I'm not one of these people that worries a lot about, you know, uh, what people think. I think it's human nature. We all, um, we all want to be liked, and, and I do just as much as anybody else. But if somebody judges me just on the basis of my shaved dome, then you know they're not really anyone that I probably would want to be associated with anyway. So it's not something that, honestly, I spend a great deal of time working or <laughs> worrying on. I'm working on my neck area right now. Um, you know, if 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 the dome is going to be a deal killer for them, the fact that I'm shaving my dome and I don't have uh, the hair I used to, and that bothers them, then you know they're not really the caliber of people I want to be associated with. That's just sort of the way I look at it. Um, you may feel differently. I understand maybe if you're a younger person, you know, you feel it's really important to have hair, and, and that's fine. Um, but I'm just not worried about it. And I've actually been enjoying the head shaves and all the rest, and that feels pretty doggone smooth. This thing did a pretty good job. We'll uh, do a little touching up, and then we'll come back with the post. Stay tuned. All right, and here we are with the magic made by Witch Thayer's Witch Hazel. Great stuff for the face and the dome. And I tell you what, the shave head may not look like a million bucks, but it feels like it. <laughs> so, it feels very, very good to me. Um, we'll let that set for just a second. Um, Gillette Guard, um, sent to me by Dave Fernicola. It did a very nice job. Single blade, did great. Cremo, um, it's deceptively slick, and I say that because when you put it on, it doesn't leave quite as much visible, um, not lather, but like that sheen like the head slick does, but it's still plenty slick. So it is slick stuff, that I can tell you. And uh, let's get on with our aftershave, which is this Italian, I don't know how to say that. <laughs> so I'm just going to slap it on the dome and enjoy. And then I'll throw some head lube or something on later put a little moisturizer in it, but I don't have any in here right now. And that feels nice. This is a vetiver aftershave, by the way. And I'm gonna go for a second round. Um, I think you can get this at Italian Barber. And uh, it's quite nice. It smells nice. It's somewhere in scent between uh, the fine, clean and fresh vetiver, or what is now green and fresh vetiver. Feels nice. And we are ready to get our day started uh, in top-notch fashion. Thanks, everybody, for watching. And until next time, let's help make the entire world shape great once again.